Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Vic 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, we're looking at the good old Ottoman Empire. Uh, a few things. First of all, I gave Germany this just because I want to give them some colony over there. We're looking pretty good already. Maybe we'll take it from away from them someday. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I'm totally fine with that. We did get this area, though, so we got our part of Kenya. I don't know why the British did, but we're allied with a lot of people, actually, now. We're allied with... Are we allied with these guys? Yes, we are. We're allied with the Brits. We're also allied with the Americans, and, of course, Germany. And we're also allied with Austria-Hungary. Everyone but France, because we just basically won a war against them. But the thing is, is that we can begin building the Suez Canal. One of the long-standing problems for shipping on the Far Eastern Indian trades has always been the need to round the African Cape in order to actually get there. By establishing a canal through the Suez, we will shorten the journey to Asia by days, as well as perform a wonderful feat of modern engineering. This estimated cost between 1 to 3 million pounds. Absolutely. With the International Commission for the Piercing of the Isthmus of the Suez having completed the incessant Suez region as being possible to have a canal built, all that remains is to put the plan in motion. The Suez Canal Company tends to do just that, but in order to get it started, it needs to put together a significant amount of capital. This has been offering shares to our government, hoping as well for a political clout to influence Egypt into allowing vineyards to proceed. Uh, they can have as much money as they want. I don't care. I want to get it done as fast as possible or whatever, you know, so... 40% chance under construction until November 1st for basically a decade. Um, I'll get through a million. So basically, I just wanted... Oh, there goes all of our money. Basically, I wanted to read that to let you guys know what's going on. And we're going to be reforming and increasing our military, even though we can't do too much else here. We need more militancy and such like that. But I'll see you. Or we'll, we will reconvene in a little bit after I go through more comments uh, from the last video. Someone says we should expand some more and go for more Tarani lands. We'll see what happens. See you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and we're back with Circassia free from Soviet rule, even though Chechnya is now gone. Circassia now is taking its place. Regardless, we are poised now to go to war with the Greeks, but before I forget, someone asked a few episodes ago, let's look at the culture map mode. And this is it. There's a solid amount of Turkish people here, and actually, if you look at the population, only 15% of our population is Turkish just because we've had so many revolts, and that, actually, the last revolt we just had off screen was a communist revolt, and it took out... 0.2% of all Turkish population within the empire. The Turkish people got to stop revolting, man. But there's a lot of Turks down here. Uh, we actually were able to get majority, or close to majority, Turkish culture here in Salonika. So that's actually kind of cool. And we have some Turkish over here. We, the Balkans, our Balkan portion is, well, it's kind of a mess. Uh, let's see, we have a lot of Albanians. Of course, the Greeks are around here. And of course, we've got a lot of Beodin. We've got a lot of Misri. We've got a lot of Kurds around here, too. And Armenians, which, you know, it is what it is. And I've been trying to reform the army a whole lot more. It's November 1st, 1896. Yeah, we need another army for this. Or another battalion, really. Another uh, another dude. I'm going to go ahead and fix that up. Uh, we need another artillery piece. Regardless, there's a lot of... Mashriki, Beodin, Beodin, a giant mess in Africa. What do you expect? Uh, yeah, not too bad, though. Culture map is looking pretty cool. I don't think there's anything specific that anyone wanted me to look at. Just look at the culture map. But I do like this. We've got a lot of Turks here in southern Macedonia and Salonika. So. And we all have a justification for Central Greece. Or just Greece in general. So we can't take the Peloponnese. But we could probably take Central Greece. Which would be kind of cool if we could. Do they have anything worthwhile down there? Probably not. they got continents. Oh, they do have a little sulfur. That's not bad. But they also have Thessaly. Which, it's alright. We already have a piece of Thessaly. We have most of Thessaly, actually. I'd rather take this, though. So, I have a good feeling that the Brits are going to get into the war, as well as maybe the Soviet Union. But, if we call in our allies, it should do okay, right? So, Belgium, Germany, UK, America, Japan, and Austria-Hungary. Well, let's see what happens. So, Austria-Hungary, Japan. That's terrifying. Like, holy crap. The UK, Germany, America, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire, and Japan are all coming for your booty. Like, holy crap, that is insane. That would be terrifying to see if all these people came over and were like, Alright, we, we approve of the Ottoman Empire coming to take you out. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Um, cool. Oh, crap, wait, well, I guess they could... Okay, so they'd have no morale, probably because they're not spending any money on their budget. Okay. I'm also trying to get more influence with everyone here, so. Let's see. So, a couple comments include that. Yes, we own more than a quarter of Africa. It's very nice, I would say. Next up, make sure I don't say too many of the same things. Makes sense. Yep, good. 
and Groot's starting to mobilize, and we're still trying to do the same stuff around here to get more bureaucrats. I'm trying to get as many as possible. It won't be that bad once we can get all these accepted cultures and such, but I decided to put some more capitalists in Adana, because someone did recommend we get more capitalists, so. And also someone said, are we going to have a Romanian genocide? Well, I'm not opposed to it. Do we have any new decisions maybe yet? Uh, let's see... Panama Canal. We need drilling and blasting. We need Balboa. So maybe we'll start influencing Colombia. Plantations in Rwanda, Urundi. Investment banks, huh? Not a bad idea. African farms and mines. We need investment banks. Build the Titanic. Probably won't be able to do that. Women's suffrage. So to do this one, though... I mean, women's suffrage, it's... It's alright. Nothing really special. Uh, let's see. Constitutional monarchy, of course, again. And actually, we did get another reform. I'll say that. We did get another reform. How do... Hmm... How do we <clears throat> remove people? I think we'll probably become like communists or something. But we did get cultural rights allowed, so that's one step away from getting all rights allowed, which is really good to get more accepted cultures. So I do have that in the back of my mind. So and we just killed them all off. Thank you. Italy is still not a great power, which is really good for us. So here we go. Thank you. Thank you very much for playing Italy. Oh hello. Someone just died there. Beautiful. Oh, the poor Greeks. Everyone, they literally all abandoned Greece. And also, we're still trying to play out the Suez Canal. Actually, don't forget, I don't want to forget this. Colombia. Right, there you go. Tensions dissipate. That's great. I love that we own this much Africa, and then all the other European powers are just like, yeah, we'll be content with the western side and the southern side. So, And also, Germany got this part, like I said before, I think, maybe. So, it's fine, whatever. I don't really care. Oh, we're over here, too. Uh, you know, I might just withdraw from this area. It's fine if the UK gets it. I don't really care too much, to be honest with you. There, you know what? You can have it. Good luck with that. We have a lot of colonies already. And I want to make sure that we, we do okay, so. I have a feeling someone is going to peace out for us. Just in case. I'm keeping one, at least 30,000 soldiers on each province that we have with bordering the Soviet Union. Because I think they might be next, who I really want to take out, so. But we're ninth in the world for industry, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Corinth, you're next. Oops. Oh, I'm glad we couldn't leave that battle. Occupation of Athens is almost complete. And what's going on? Oh, Montenegro. I still want to take Montenegro, too. But I think they're allied with Austro-Hungarians. And the Americans have shown up. Oh, my goodness. Actually, Montenegro actually would be pretty good to get as well. Yeah, we'll I mean, we do have the war thing, the justification decision over here, I think. Yeah, Montenegro borders. It'll be at peace. Nationalism, imperialism. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go to war the next. If we do go to war, okay. austria hungary so be it. Cool, we did it. So, even though we're allied with them, and they're allied with the Brits, and the Brits are pretty strong. Wait, did you mobilize? They mobilized. Wow, they suck. Regardless, they actually have a bigger army than us right now, but whatever. We could cause the first great war by trying to get Montenegro. That actually makes too much sense with the Balkans starting World War One, but, oh well. And here we are, everyone. Doesn't look like too much has happened, but actually, we've been able to pay off our debt, which was great. We paid off our uh, debts, and actually now we can probably lower tariffs, but it's pretty much time to go back to war with Montenegro. So, we are allied, or in the sphere of Austria-Hungary, which might be good, might not be good. We got this, I was found out with 0.7 infamy, you know, things happen. Uh, let's see, Belgium will not accept, Spain will not accept, uh, Germany, the UK, America, no one will accept. So let's not call them in. Let's see what happens. Now, do we immediately go to war with someone else, maybe? No, Austria-Hungary broke our, our alliance. Which is a big sadness, but I, I actually pulled off all my soldiers around here. But hey, if we can annex Montenegro and... Serbs don't exist, maybe Austria-Hungary will thank us later on. Okay, then. Um... That was surprisingly a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, then. Very awesome. You know what I like to do, everyone? Occasionally, at least maybe we'll make this a tradition, is go to war with Persians. As the Ottoman Empire. Now, we probably want to get Tabriz, actually, finally, again. However, would our allies want to come in? Because they're allied, the Persians, to the Soviet Union, or at least they're in their sphere. Let's see, it looks like everyone, except for Italy, will join in. We could? 
Yeah, why not? Let's try it. We're making plenty of money now. We've Our military is stocked up. We didn't get found out by justifying on these people. Come on, Soviet Union. Italy decided not to join. I don't really care. Because I want this territory. Shun leadership. And the Soviet Union has dishonored their alliance. <sighs> I love it. Very good. We're just picking on people that are weaker than us. Isn't it such a nice feeling? Wow, we are sieging them down fast. Beautiful. Oh, we've won two occupations, maybe? Very good, very good. Just take out all the coastline first. And we'll work towards the capital. That'll be nice. Let them come on in, and then uh, we'll uh, go over here, too. Boy, thank you very much. Hey, look, a couple guys have arrived. Tensions dissipate, that's good. Seventh largest military in the world. Obviously not large enough, but that's okay. Oh, they want to... They want Fars. Alright, then. Very weird, but okay. Fars is... Is this Fars? No, that's Kuzistan. They want... They want that, huh? That's... I'll say a little unusual, but alright. We'll see what happens. The Briz. Come over there. Slightly more war score needed. And Italy. Yeah, they broke their alliance with us because they didn't want to join the war against Persia. Why not, man? It's just Persia. You don't have to show up. Just just say you'll go to war with them and we'll do go. They'll do okay. Awesome. Oh. Oh, they started attacking in the mountains. Well, I guess the Persians aren't too bad at beat then. Let's go for Tehran next. I better get my territory. Germany. I better. Would not accept, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Too many commies. Seriously? Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, these guys are gonna die. It's alright, though. Uh, all these guys are pretty much like, no commies. No, no, no. That's so dumb. Why do they just rise up when we're in the middle of a war? Like, they're not gonna win. Like, our army is too strong for the commies to, like, rise up and actually win. I love how... This is such a mul We're leading a multinational coalition against the evils of Persia. Go figure. Go flip and figure. It was like the UN early on. Or is it if the UN could do anything. Oh, we lost a battle. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen. Can I propose peace? I'm just waiting... Wait, what? We have enough war score, so. They reject it, so be it. We gotta make sure our capital doesn't fall, but since we've already maxed out our, you know, army's budget, we'll be okay. I'm really not too worried about that. Alright, I don't see Germany doing too much down here. Maybe the Persians are doing okay. The Germans, have, they're doing a little bit. Not much, though. Not much. Alright, take some more. How can we not go to peace yet? Uh, okay then. That is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting, Germany. Why? Why did you take Fars? They wanted, like, opium from Shiraz or something? Alright, but hey, at least we cut off Persia from the rest of these guys. I mean, they still, still have this territory, but still. Oh well. Well, would you look at that? The Suez Canal has been finished, even though we finished paying it off quite a bit earlier. On the year 1898, the construction of the Suez Canal is finally finished. Numerous technical, political, and financial problems have been overcome, and the final cost was more than double the original estimate. Many have died in the accidents, but eh, the canal is finally ready for use. The opening will be performed by the Kivdev Ismail of Egypt and Sudan, and at Ismail's invitation. Our ship will be the first to cross the canal. The opening ceremony will be held in a few days as soon as the preparations are finished. We build the canal. And the trade goods in Suez become precious goods. Look at that. Oops. We're still trying to deal with rebels here, too, so by the way. Uh, and also became socialist just because I thought that, you know, we actually got the reform for all allowed rights. But we still can't do this because we're not a constitutional monarchy. Mm, not great. Not great. But actually, the 19... 
1898 expedition to the Arab Gulf, the Ottoman governor in Baghdad came to Istanbul to request military provisions and soldiers to outfit an expedition to do the Wahhabi raids to merchants in the Persian Gulf. With the opening of the Suez Canal, trade from the Persian Gulf is increasingly valuable and it is important that we exert as much power and influence in the region. The Arabian Peninsula is divided between the Al Saud and Al Rashid families, and although we crushed the Wahhabi Saudi family once, they keep coming back. You know what you do to people when they keep coming back? You put them into places where they can no, no longer live. And we need Montenegro, we need all... Or, oh, I see. Uh, Austria-Hungary owns core Montenegro provinces. Can we trade them? Like, I will give you, like, maybe Bosnia in exchange for Montenegro? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not a good trade. I don't know. I wish you could trade provinces. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't think we can do much else until next. Well, welcome back, everyone. Right now, we're going to go to war with the... the what is this place? This one empire? The Radtanad Kosin Kingdom for Isan. Why? Because we can. Now, I try to, I'm trying on different parties to see if we could change things up a little bit. Right now, we're this liberal party. And it's kind of hurting us. We can't build factories. It allows a fair party. Free trade. So, we can't tax people as much as we would want to. So, this is kind of painful. We can only get so much tariffs. So we're actually losing quite a bit of money. Excuse me. Excuse me. Regardless. It's time to kick a few teeth in and have a good time. Uh, terrorists in Greece? No such thing. No such thing. Cool. I think we'll be okay since their army score is three. It's not that good. We shouldn't need too much, too many provinces to take them out, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Our army is actually fifth in the world now, so we're actually doing pretty darn well. And it's Happy New Year, everyone. It's 1900. We're going to have a great year. Great, great year for us. Oh. Release? What? Iran. Oh, it's no longer Persia. Release puppet against the Soviet Union. I do kind of want to go to war with the Soviet Union, though. I'll be honest here. Oh, they actually puppeted them, huh? I do plan on going to war with the Soviet Union. I would like to either cut them down or get some more, or reduce their prestige. I just really want to break them, to be honest with you guys. But unfortunately, I will probably switch out of this party because I really don't like the party that we have right now. This liberal party is okay. And I think if I looked it up to actually get the reforms done. I'm going to send you guys up here. We need to get down to non-secret ballots. If I remember correctly, that's what we need. Oh, there we go. Nice. We just need some non-secret ballots, that's all. Uh, you guys head on down here. You're just going to hang out. Actually, you just... No, you guys hold. I'm just going to keep you guys up here. There you go. Cool. Not bad. We get some money there, too. And very nice. I think we did really, really well right there. All right, everyone, so here we are, ready to go to war with Greece once again. Now, unfortunately, it's 1903, and I went to war with the Soviet Union, and I was recording, but apparently the audio did not record. So here's the deal. We are, I guess, a fascist party for now, just because we could. And actually, if you, I said this like when I was recording earlier, but the audio didn't record. We went to non-secret ballots, and because we did that, we were actually able to get a constitutional monarchy. And you know, we still value autocracy, we're constitutional monarchy. So we did eventually get the decision to get more accepted cultures, which is great for us, don't get me wrong. And actually, I guess Soviet Union is at war with Persia, no longer called Iran. So here we, here we are, the Ottoman Empire. We have Albania, Albanian, Bosniak, Misri, Azerbaijani, and Mashriki cultures as accepted cultures now. I really wish the audio didn't cut out. Like, it, all the audio wasn't available. So we did the decision, now there are accepted cultures, and we've actually been able to colonize, or not really colonize, but get a lot of more administration and get our colonies, basically. A Baghdad finished. They're, they're almost done with bureaucrats down here. We're done with Eastern Syria. We're done with the Syria, period. Lebanon as well. Even Palestine, for the most part. Transjordan is done. We can put these guys back in here just because it's just a little bit more bureauc bureaucrats. But yeah, I went to war with the Soviets and basically got Azerbaijan because, or Azerbaijan, I should say, just because I wanted the oil. I literally just want oil. I'm an American, so. But we can go to war for Greek Sicily, Not Sicily, but Thessaly, just because we can, so. And, like, earlier, Greek Thessaly, who would like to join the war? Let's see. Everyone will. It, this is just, we might, this might make this a tradition. So you guys go up there. Uh, they've only 9,000. We've thrown 60,000 soldiers. Everyone's coming in. That is, like I said earlier, that's going to be terrifying. The UK... Ottoman Empire, Germany, America, Austria-Hungary maybe, Japan, all coming to say, hey Greeks, we don't really care for you, please be under the Ottoman boot, 
and we're also fourth in the world. We're the third most prestige, fifth largest army, as well as the eighth largest economy, basically. So, it's kind of wild. Kind of definitely wild, actually. Yeah, it's very wild down here. Just because, let's see, we got other reforms as well. I, w I really, really wish that the audio didn't cut out. So, we got that one. We, uh, Of course, we saw that we have all allowed rights. We've got good health care. We've got an accessible school system. We also still have child labor legal, which... You know me and child labor, which sounds very awkward if you take that out of context. Um, don't don't quote me on that. But okay, we we won, cool. But hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping here that the audio has not cut out yet. So, but I gotta end the episode here because I spent like the last two hours playing Vicky Two, getting up to 1903. Oh, and I do want to let you know, we got gas attack. We can gas people. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when I'm going to continue trying to take out other people. And maybe even try to take out the French. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.